A charlatan, also called swindler or mountebank, is a person practicing quackery or some similar confidence trick or deception in order to obtain money, fame, or other advantages via some form of pretense or deception. Synonyms for charlatan include shyster, quack, or faker. Mountebank comes from the Italian montambanco or montambanco based on the phrase monta in banco, literally referring to the action of a seller of dubious medicines getting up on a bench to address his audience of potential customers. Quack is a reference to quackery or the practice of dubious medicine or a person who does not have actual medical training who purports to provide medical services. Etymology The word comes from French charlatan a seller of medicines who might advertise his presence with music in an outdoor stage show. The best known of the Parisian charlatans was Tabarin, who set up a stage in the Place Dauphine, Paris in 1618, and whose Commedia dell'arte inspired skits and farces inspired Moliere. The word can also be traced to Spanish, charlatan, an indiscreetly talkative person, a chatterbox. Ultimately, Etymologists trace charlatan from either the Italian chirler, to chatter or prattle, or from Ceritano, a resident of Cerrito, a village in Umbria, known for its quacks. Usage In usage, a subtle difference is drawn between the charlatan and other kinds of confidence tricksters. The charlatan is usually a salesperson of a certain service or product who does not try to create a personal relationship with his marks, the persons to whom the service or product is sold, or set up an elaborate hoax using role-playing. Rather, the person called a charlatan is being accused of resorting to quackery, pseudoscience, or some knowingly employed bogus means of impressing people in order to swindle his victims by selling them worthless nostrums and similar goods or services that will not deliver on the promises made for them. One example of a charlatan is a 19th-century medicine show operator, who has long since left town by the time the people who bought his snake oil or similarly named Cure-All Tonic realize that it does not perform as advertised. In reported spiritual communications, a charlatan is a person who fakes evidence that a spirit is making contact with the medium and seekers. Notable people who have successfully debunked the claims of purported supernatural mediums include magician-slash-scientific skeptic James Randi, Brazilian writer Monteiro Lobato and magician Harry Houdini. Famous Individuals Albert Abrams, the advocate of radionics and other similar electrical quackery who was active in the early 20th century. John R. Brinkley the goat gland doctor who implanted goat glands as a means of curing male impotence, helped pioneer both American and Mexican radio broadcasting, and twice ran unsuccessfully for governor of Kansas. Alessandro Cagliostro, real name Giuseppe Balsamo, who claimed to be a count. Billy Sol Estes, a famous Texas con man. Gustavus Catter fell to a Prussian conjurer who used a solar microscope which he claimed could detect disease. Bernard Madoff, an American stockbroker who ran the world's largest Ponzi scheme, defrauding investors out of $18 billion. Alicia Perkins the inventor of his own quack therapy that utilized tractors. John Henry Pinkard, Roanoke businessman and purveyor of quack medicines. Charles Ponzi for whom the Ponzi scheme is named, a scheme that relies on a pyramid of investors who contribute money to a fraudulent program. Grigory Rasputin a self-proclaimed holy man and healer who gained considerable influence on the family of Tsar Nicholas II on and was involved in the political turmoil on the brink of the Russian Revolution. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.